Okay, I have here my flat iron one end mandolin, as you can see, flat iron. <clears throat> um, I bought this for a really good price on Craigslist, um, and I did some upgrades to it. Um, I personally didn't like the uh, the clamshell tailpiece. I just not only was it a pain to change the strings, but I just I just prefer this look of this style better. So. I just I bought this on Stu Mac for pretty inexpensive, and this is a Cumberland Acoustics bridge. Um, Steve over at Cumberland Acoustics is awesome, by the way. If you guys haven't worked with him, he's super cool. Um, this uh, he worked up the lowest bridge he could come up with for me, and I made it lower, sanding it down to get it to match the previous existing fixed bridge, um, and I think it sounds pretty good. So. Um, Let's hear how it sounds. Um, I think it even it it didn't chop very well. It still doesn't chop great, but it, it chops better than it did with I think with the with this new bridge. Of course, I've got new uh, GHS light strings on it, and I'm using the Wagon TF140, I think. These are all the typical Mandolin Cafe recommended um, things for this, uh, for this particular mandolin. Um, I added a, a strap button to the heel there. Um, it's a great little mandolin. It's got a little pick rash here. Um, and I'm going to add a, a, one of my tail pieces, or one of my uh, armrests that I make right here. I just haven't, I wanted to make one out of mahogany, I just haven't gotten to it yet, so. Okay, play a little bit of Ashokan Farewell for you. There you go. Um, it's cool. It's a nice little thing. It's loud um, and it sounds really pretty. Um, I've had to get used to the flat um, fretboard, but it's cool. I like it. Um, if you find one of these, get it. This one's a 90, 93. Yeah, it's a 93. So it's pretty good for a 20 something year old mandolin, 24 year old. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you. 